Hello, Laura. Good morning, Patricia. How are you doing today? I'm very good. I'm ready to make giant lifestyle changes. <laughs> Woohoo! I love it. We love that. Um, and I understand uh, we are going to have some uh, great tips on how to look good and get ready for spring. Um, what do you suggest? Well, you know, Patricia, first of all, what I love about this time of year is it's the time where we literally move out of the darkness and into the light, right? So we have more daylight to kind of get us through the day, maybe get motivated to take an extra lap around the block when we go for a walk after work or walk the dog a little longer, spend some more time outside. It's amazing how, you know, just brightness can motivate us. But the one thing I want to just you know, kind of give a little warning, Patricia, is a lot of us during the winter time, we hibernate, okay? We might spend more time on the couch than we do actually working out or at the gym. And it's okay, don't sweat it, brush it off, but just kind of remember the fundamentals as you get back out there and start being active again, whether it's pick up basketball with friends or joining a baseball league or the boot camp classes in the park. You want to remember the basics. So warm up before you do any activity, stretch, especially afterwards when your muscles are warm, and stay hydrated. And a very important thing I'd like to remind everyone is don't forget your core, okay? This is your center of gravity for your body. Everything moves from here. So don't forget to add some planks, some crunches, some basic exercises to your routine because by keeping that strong, you're going to prevent things like lower back pain and any other injuries that might creep up. So slow and steady wins the race. You know, you don't have to run a marathon tomorrow. Just build your stamina, your strength, your endurance slowly, and you're going to have a fun and fabulous springtime. That's so true, and you know, it's it's important because you don't want to you don't you don't want to hurt yourself when you're no. just finally getting out there and you've made the commitment to do exactly. be more active. Exactly. You don't want to sit on the couch longer than you have to, right? And and have to ice an ankle or anything. So just be careful and take it easy. That's true. That's true. How can we eat the things we really love without feeling guilty? I am so glad you brought that up because if you ask my family, my friends, or anyone who reads my blog, they'll tell you I am a believer that we should never deny ourselves the things that we love. Okay, life is too short. You just have to do it in moderation and be smart about it. So that means, as far as I'm concerned, everything's on the menu from chocolate to french fries. And the great news when it comes to french fries is there is a super smart choice out there for you. And that's because we have the Alexia Smart Classics fries and potatoes. They are roasted and never fried, and they taste great. They're made with U.S. grown Yukon Select potatoes. They've got just a touch of sea salt. So again, tasting great, and they're only 100 calories a serving. And if you're craving something extra crunchy and with that savory flavor, then you're gonna wanna try the crispy rosemary fries with sea salt. They are cut with the skins on. They've got the rosemary and the sea salt. So some, again, some great flavor. These are easy to make. You bake them. They are all natural, with all natural ingredients, non-GMO certified. So again, a great way to add something to a side dish at dinner, maybe have a snack or an after-school snack for the kids. No guilt involved. You can have that little indulgence. And another fun tip, you know what? Why don't you try to swap out the ketchup and try something like a yogurt dill dip? Okay, it's gonna be packed with protein because there's yogurt in here and cottage cheese, and then you've got flavor from bell peppers and dill. So just another option and other ideas like that can be found at alexiafoods.com. Wow, french fries. My mouth is watering. Good, good, good. Yes, they're really good. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happens, you know, with the change of seasons? I know people, you know, are out more. They're around people more maybe. Uh, what, what's the best thing to do when you feel a cold coming on? You know, that is a very timely question because I feel like here in New York City, everywhere I turn, someone's sneezing or coughing, okay? So the viruses, unfortunately, are out there. Even when you eat healthy and sleep and try to exercise, you can be susceptible to picking up a cold, like you said. So in that regard, I am so thankful to my mom. Yes, I have to give her a shout out because she taught me about the wonders of cold ease. She's carried the classic cherry lozenges in her purse for as long as I can remember, and now I carry them too. And the idea is you want to take them as soon as you start to feel under the weather, and that's because they've been clinically proven to help shorten the duration of your cold by nearly half. So that's great news. And aside from being Laura mom approved, they also happen to be the number one pharmacist recommended brand. So great to keep around. And another option is to keep the uh, multi-symptom quick melts at hand as well. They dissolve quickly in your mouth and they help to relieve cold and flu symptoms like a sore throat, cough, and chest congestion. So again, 
keep the coldies around, take it as soon as you start to feel a little under the weather and you'll get back in the game, back to your routine and the springtime fun as quickly as you can. Laura, these are wonderful tips for the spring and really for all year round. And where can we go for more information? Absolutely. If you want to learn more about what I talked about today, you can always go to videopump.tv and you'll always find health and fitness tips on my blog at lauralovesfitness.com. Well, thank you very much. Let me get out now. It's time for me to start my routine. <laughs> All right. Go for it, lady. Have fun and have fun. Thank you, Laura. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.